just Stephanie Casey, fashion, beauty, food, lifestyle, and travel blogger at TrendyDallas.com. Stephanie, thanks for taking your time out here on Network Master. Of course. How'd you get started in doing this? So a couple of years ago, I moved to Dallas with my boyfriend. Um, we were going to college at Western State, Colorado University, and it's a tiny town, not really much to do, and moved to big Dallas, and I've never lived in a place of more than maybe like 50,000 people before, so it was a big change for me. And I literally was sitting on the couch one day watching TV and saw Courtney Love Dallas, a reality TV show about a blogger here, and I was like, okay, it must be a pretty big deal to be a blogger in Dallas. So I decided to jump on board. Just like that? <laughs> Basically. I mean, it did take me about a year. I'm not going to lie. I was extremely insecure. Um, it was kind of difficult. It was a whole new place. Kind of scary. Didn't know anybody. No friends or family around. So I definitely tried to beat myself up for about a year. I was like, should I or shouldn't I? And then... <laughs> Just one day went for it. I was like, you just got to go for it. <laughs> so it off. all this time was your boyfriend saying, giving you that encouragement to go ahead and do it, or was he kind of just right where you were? Uh, yeah, he's kind of just like, if you want to do it, do it, but make sure, you know, he's, so, he's very rational and logical about things. So gotcha. he's like, just think it through, like, make sure you have time commitment. And really, I was mostly scared about any kind of bullying I mean, growing up, I experienced it a lot. I moved a lot because I from a younger family and kind of couldn't settle down and figure out where they wanted to be. So, um, and for me, I just kind of decided this was what I wanted to do. Hmm. So once you got started, now you're you're going after that year. You made the decision. You made the call. What were some of the first steps you had to take in order to, I guess, get some clientele, get some money coming in? Um, so that kind of took me a long time to figure out actually, like I literally started the blog thinking if I can get some free clothes or free beauty products, that would be amazing. And then after that happened, it was kind of like, I want more. And then I realized that there was potential to make money probably like two years into it. I really? just discovered that it wasn't a hobby for people anymore. It's an actual job. Hmm. So I kind of just had people reach out to me and say, hey, would you be willing to do this for this amount of money? And often dawned on me, okay, this needs to be a job. <laughs> and that's where the boyfriend comes back. Okay, you need to make sure you're okay and ready to, like, get what you deserve. Don't just keep doing free things for people. Hmm. Now, that's interesting because you started it with a pure heart. You started it with passion. And two years up the road, you you find out, wait a minute, there's money in this thing. So once the floodgates start opening, um, Stephanie Casey, we're talking to her right now on Network Master. Make sure you download the audio. We're at NetworkMaster.live. We're also on Google Play and iTunes. Download, download. Now, Stephanie, once the floodgates are opening, tell us about your experience okay. then. Um, yeah, so the biggest deal for me was just pitching myself and kind of making people want to work with me, to trust me, because it's kind of hard. There's so many people out there. It's a very saturated field right now, so mm. it's really competitive. So many people are saying, this is why you should work with me, this is why you should work with me, and I just kind of have to keep that with that genuine voice mm. and have a story behind everything, because at this point, it's it's hmm. turning towards influencer marketing and whatnot, and you have to have a genuine story. You can't just sell an ad. <laughs> you have to exactly, exactly. have a reason why people can relate to it. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to ask you your age, but I'm 41, so I'm just old enough to remember when just any company could put a commercial on television, and whether they uh, agreed with the product, whether they agreed with the slogan, whether it was really even part of their mission, it didn't matter as long as they had a good jingle. How important is that? I know you said it's important, but on scale 1 to 10, how important is it to have that jingle? genuine story in your marketing oh yeah 10 10 for sure <laughs> I mean it's, it's hard like for me when I first started I had to figure out my voice and my brand it was really difficult like at first I was just kind of like writing a diary article online every day and then I started getting these advertisement things and it felt like that I was just trying to push this product on people and I had to figure out no this is who I am hmm. stay true to yourself Hmm. We're talking to Stephanie Casey. She is all that fashion, beauty, food, lifestyle, travel blogger at TrendyDallas.com. Stephanie, you said you had to figure out your voice and your brand. A lot of people don't think about how hard that could be. You don't have to tell us all the steps you went through, but what are some of the eureka moments you had when, when building that? Yes. Brand? Okay, so it's kind of funny. When I first started out, I had like a really long name and I discovered that it's really important to have a distinct like a small name 
with like one verb or like I mean one syllable. Like it's keep it very simple. Like hmm. don't have long something that people are tripping over in their tongue that like you really want it to make sense. And I had a name that was similar to somebody else's, which is a big no no. Hmm. So make sure when you decide on a brand that it is not gonna step on anybody else's toes and take anybody off because I did go through that. And when I finally settled on Dallas Trends, um, and I'm at TrendyDallas.com, and still, you know, seemed like I'm up in the air, but it seemed like it worked for the time because um, I, I just couldn't make my mind. I wanted to be trend and trendy, so hmm. it just worked. But definitely want to keep it simple. And gotcha. So Trendy that's Dallas, that's your that's your baby. You're not just the blogger. You are the one running the show. Yeah. Everybody oh, yeah. <laughs> knows that you're having fun. Every I, I can t- hear the excitement about what you do in your voice. Let's talk about the business yeah. wise. What are some things that you had to learn that you didn't know before? Like I'm a self taught person and so I had to go online online every day. So if there was an obstacle, I wouldn't just sit back and go, Oh boy, I don't know how to do this. Like I would dig and search and find knowledge or talk to people or do whatever I had to do to fix my problem and I think that a lot of people just get stuck and they go, I don't know what to do. But if you're not talking to people and you're not getting inspired and motivated and having those people around you, it's so easy to just give up on yourself. Mm. That's probably the quote of the hour. We're talking <laughs> to Stephanie Casey right here. She is owner, the boss at TrendyDallas.com. We're talking to her on NetworkMaster.live. Visit the website and download the audio. Even share with your family, friends, and network. Use those social share icons. Now, Stephanie, you're in you're in the big D. You're in Dallas, right? Yes. So during I'm a football fan, so I gotta ask, what types of <laughs> marketing and things do you guys do with football season? Or is there or do you just do business as usual? Um, yeah, that's a good question because I'm originally from Wisconsin, so I'm a little bit of a Packer fan. But I definitely <laughs> love the Cowboys, I'm not gonna lie. I think they're my most favorite teams ever and watching them play is awesome but I think I don't jump on it as much as I should like um Hmm. it's hard to say because there's a lot of you know like foodie events where people are throwing like parties during the football games and stuff like that but gotcha yeah I really haven't jumped on board with that much yet so since you you know you've got the trendydallas.com that's your website you got to give me a tip because everybody makes the websites for fashion and beauty for women but you got to give me a couple things that guys can do to look more attractive to be better and just overall have better fashion sense is are there a couple of general things that guys can do yeah I definitely say practice your manners etiquette I mean being in Dallas was kind of nice having men open doors for you and whatnot so I mean that's just no matter what you wear that just looks good but then on top of it I just think you know sophisticated simple clean lines are just really important for men just like they'll overcomplicate it with too many things I just really like to see a man in like dark pair of jeans maybe a leather jacket something just very subtle but sharp Talking to Stephanie Casey here. Stephanie, why don't you give the website one more time and let listeners know how they can find out more about you. At com and Dallas Trends on Instagram. Thanks, Stephanie, for taking your time out here on Network Master. Yes, thanks for having me.